Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you are already subscribed, then welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to be going through this year's favorite items that I own. Some of them are new, some of them are old. They're not all from 2019, but they are the most used or my favorite items that I have used this year. I just wanna take the time to let you guys know like some of my favorite things, brushes, what I like to use the most, and what I really, really use the most this year. So if you're interested in what my 2019 favorite beauty items are, then just keep watching. So my hair is like completely crazy today. It's, it's crazy all the time. Like, cause it's so short, it's just so poofy and curly. So we're just gonna ignore it like it's not here can we do that can can we do that all my curly girls give me a thumbs up on this video comment below how much you hate how frizzy crazy your hair is speaking of hair so the first items i'm going to go into are going to be my two most used items hair care wise this year so this year if you're not new here then you know that i was pregnant so basically my hair was like lazy days I didn't want to straighten it, I didn't want to do all that, so I just kept it natural and curly, but I did have to use, obviously, hair care items or I would look like a poodle. So I use hairspray and gel and all that, but I kind of mix that up throughout the year. But these two items were actually the most used items. Um, this one is Bedhead and this is Foxy Curls. It's really gross on the outside because it's in my drawer and it leaks sometimes. But this is a contour cream. So basically what I do is after the shower, I towel dry my hair and I pump some of this in and just give it a zhuzh and it really keeps my curls like ringlet and not so frizzy. I did not use it today, if you can't tell. But I really love this. I get this from TJ Maxx for like $9.99, um, but I believe they sell it at Walmart and Target and hair care places. The next one I actually also found at TJ Maxx for $5.99, and I don't know where else you can get this, but this is strictly, so this is girls, with curls. This is a brand strictly made for girls with curly hair. Um, and I really, really love it. I got this one and a couple other ones, but I haven't used those as much. This has been my favorite go-to product. This is a curl defining cream. If you've not noticed, I am really big on creams in my hair, less gel. I feel like gel kind of like mushes my hair down and doesn't really give it life. So I like to use creams and these are two of my favorite. And this one was $5.99. So if you have a TJ Maxx near you and you have curly hair, check it out. So the next thing I want to touch on before we get into makeup is going to be some of my current favorite skincare items. Um, so the first one is the Confidence in a Cream by It Cosmetics. I did get this in a BoxyCharm and I believe it's like $42. So I will go ahead and show you my usage I have really, really, really gotten into using this cream. Um, I had it in there for a while and I didn't really use it, but it feels so nice on my skin and it just really nourishes and makes me feel moisturized. I don't have any makeup on, obviously, so I'm gonna go ahead and just slam some of this on so I look nice and glowy. Do you see what I mean? Like just what it does to my skin, it just makes it so hydrated and I have such dry skin that really it I've tried so many different things I don't have a lot of success with them so this one is really nice I believe they sell at Ulta if you know anywhere else then go ahead and comment that below but I think Ulta is the only place I have found it so a couple more skincare things the first one or the second one is going to be the Uracin intensive repair lotion for very dry flaky skin this is my hair this is literally empty, so I have extremely bad eczema on my hands and on my legs, so I use this a lot. My son also has extremely bad eczema, and he uses this for his hands as well, and it's really, really nice. I feel the moisture in my skin when I put it on, and just my skin coming back to life. It's fairly inexpensive. I got it at Target or Walmart. It was like a drugstore. So if you have really, really bad dry skin, eczema, anything like that, check this out. It's like I said, it's a lifesaver for me. So the next thing I actually recently just got, this is newer for me, I've had it for about a week now, and I love it. So this is the Cleansing Balm Normal Skin Coconut Oil and Shea Butter. It's the Ulta brand. 
It is basically, if you know, like Clinique's cleansing balm or who's another one that has it? I don't know. I think Tatcha maybe has one, but they're very expensive and this works just the same. I've had the Clinique one. I've never had any other brands, but this one, basically you scoop it off, you rub it and it melts all your makeup off and then you wash it or rinse it with warm water. I literally have really, really sensitive skin, so I have to be careful with the coconut oil and all of that. But this, I've used it, like I said, for a week and it has given me no issues. Usually if I have any issues with skincare stuff, it happens immediately. So, and you just have to use like the smallest amount and smear it and it was so amazing. I love using cleansing balms versus makeup removing wipes, makeup removing liquid that I have to pour on a pad because I feel like it just creates so much waste where this does not. I can scoop it right out and then I use a washcloth to wipe it off and I don't have all that mess and waste that we don't need. So, and this was $12. They had buy two, get two free and I got four of them. So, if you have Ulta near you, most people do. If not, order it online, try it out. So, two more items that I have. I believe that these have been in my favorites before, but this is the Laneige sleep special care water sleeping mask and this one is the Laneige sleeping lip sleeping mask so I absolutely love both of these I love a water mask or water moisturizer water based because it does go into my skin so much easier it's not heavy and doesn't feel very oily or gross um, and the lip masks, I literally use these all the time. I don't just use them at nighttime, I use them throughout the day. You can get a gift set right now from Sephora, I believe. It comes with this one and three little ones. They do have more like lip glossy kinds that I really wanna try, but this one is $20 and I don't remember what this one is. I'll go ahead and put it on the screen for you. But I absolutely love their products. I don't think they're super duper expensive and they feel really nice. I feel like these are the best products I have found for my skin because I am so dry and my lips. Like I literally wake up and my lips are so soft because I have the driest skin, the driest lips, the driest eyes, the driest mouth, all of it. Desert. Me. That's it. <laughs> so these are two of my life-saving products. All right, so we are going, before we hop into the makeup, I wanna do the last couple of items that are not makeup related. And the first I'm gonna go to is gonna be nails. So I have fairly decently sized nails. I don't know if you can see that because of my face. Um, so I do like to paint them myself. I have a whole rack of nail polish over here and uh, I just don't like acrylic because I don't like what it does to my nails, the breakdown that it does to my nails. I like to keep them extremely healthy and take care of them. So I've been on the lookout for like really awesome nail products and I got this set. It came with, not this, it came with three of these. This is the X formula, which I don't think Sephora sells anymore. Um, I actually got it at a store called Tuesday Mornings, which is like a resale store, for $1.99. And it literally, these are amazing. It comes with a primer, a top coat, and a cleanse, which I use each time before I paint my nails. I love this brand. I love this brand's nail polish. I love this brand's like top coat. It's such a beautiful top coat. And it's not sticky and stringy and messy, but it gives it like a nice nice glue to my nails and then the next nail item is actually from formula x as well and it is a nail ridge filler so basically when you look at your natural nails you have what are grooves into your nails it's natural it's not anything bad but no matter how much you file it down they're still going to be there um so this basically what i do is after i cleanse it and i put my base coat or prime it I put this on and it gives it a much smoother look instead of having those ridges in your nails if you know what I'm talking about comment below because I'm not crazy they're there you just can't see them or you don't notice them so these are definitely my favorite I would look online because I'm sure like they have them like on Amazon or whatever but I do know that Sephora does not sell them anymore sorry and then my last nail item is actually nail polish remover this is Onyx Professional and this is Remover 100% Pure Acetone, which is what I like. I don't like it if it's not 100% pure acetone because it just, I can't stop touching my hair, because it just doesn't get it off as quickly and as efficiently. This is maximum strength and literally is $5 at five below. 
Five Below. So if you don't have a Five Below near you, just Google the name. Um, but it is, like I said, extremely inexpensive. It comes in a huge bottle and I use this. I've used it for a long time. This is actually older than a year, but I use it on the regular once a week to do my nails. So I just thought I would add it in here. So the next item is going to be a perfume from Bath and Body Works. It's called Beautiful Day. I got this for Christmas a couple years ago and I have gotten back into it this year. I use it all the time. It was in my work desk for the longest time. It's such a fresh, clean scent and it just smells so absolutely beautiful. And I don't believe it was very expensive. I know that they their prices range and it's a glass bottle so it's more of their pricier one but I don't think it was like super duper expensive it smells so good and the last item that is not makeup related is going to be my chance by Chanel this is the pink one I believe I think they had a couple of them this is it comes in the pink box I think it was a yellow one they had. I did not like that. It was a couple of them. Um, but my husband actually got me this last year and I have been using it throughout the year. You literally, if you see, I've used this throughout the year and it's only used this much. You only need like one spray. What I have found with, oh, it smells so good. What I have found with Chanel perfumes is that literally one spritz is all you need. It's very strong. I will not lie. So if you're not looking for a strong perfume, this is not going to be for you. All right, so we are now going to hop into the makeup. I do have quite a few items. I have a lot of makeup brushes as well. So I'm going to do my best to try to go in order as to what maybe I would put on my face. If I go out of order, you can comment below and yell at me, or you can just give me a break because I'm forgetful. <laughs> Alright, so the first item I'm picking up here is the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. I have had this for quite a while, actually, but I just started using it this year because during my pregnancy I have been extremely dry, drier than usual. So this is a cream. If you look, it's a hydrating. It... Okay, well that was gross. So if you could tell, it's just a cream and it really just goes into your skin. It gives me a very beautiful, dewy look to my skin. It's just so nice to put my foundation over and it is very hydrating so I don't feel cakey and gross. All right, and the next one is going to be concealers and foundation. So I talk about this all the time through my makeup tutorials or my foundation routines. The Hourglass Vanishing Stick is literally 100% hands down my go-to foundation right now throughout this year since I've gotten it. I really, really love it. I do have quite a few foundations that I wanna try to use more. However, I just always go back to this because it's just such a beautiful finish and it's such a beautiful feel on my skin and my face and I am in the color beige. So going right along with that, my current favorite, but also I've used it throughout the year, is ColourPop's No Filter Concealer. I now use it for contouring and concealing, which before I was just using for concealing and my eyebrows, but I have learned that I actually really, really like this formula for contouring because it's just easier to blend out. And it's $6.00. These are six freaking dollars, are you kidding me? So bronzer, I have said this many times again and I will actually be buying another one of these. This is the Urban Decay Beach Bronze, Beach Bronzer and Sunkissed. And hopefully they still sell this because I got this a while ago, but I have used this almost every day this year. I am starting to hit pan, which is awesome because I don't do that very often but I absolutely love this one. It's just so easy to blend. It's such a beautiful color for my skin. So the last two powders are going to be blush, and this is the Milani Baked Blush. And oh, she is loved and used. This is super old. This is not a newer item for this year, but definitely one that I can use whether I'm wearing makeup or no makeup. It's just such a beautiful, shimmery, illuminating blush that I absolutely, absolutely have to use it. I use it all the time, like all the time. And I feel like it, none of it is missing. Like if you look here, you can tell that it's been used, but like there's still so much product left in there and I use it so much and I dig and I dig and I dig and I dig and I dig, but it's like a never ending blush. And I have also said this before, this is my favorite setting powder by Milk Makeup. Um, this is called Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. I really, the only complaint I have for the setting powder is the sifter inside. Sometimes it can be hard to use a beauty blender, but really I don't use a beauty blender too often to set. But if you're a beauty blender 
fanatic and that's how you set your powder you're gonna have a hard time with this one um, I use a brush so I don't have as much trouble but it's like a cloth in there which has made it kind of hard to get any product out I wish that it was more of a plastic sifter so I could actually tap some out it reminds me of the Huda Beauty one but that one you can get more product out so I really love this but that would be the only thing that I would say to fix if they could Sephora, by the way, I think is where I got that. <clears throat> All right, and then the next face item is this bad boy. This is the Glazed Lit Kit by Laura Lee Los Angeles, and oh, I love her. So uh, this one is actually a newer item to 2019. She just launched this for her holiday collection, and these are beautiful. I do have the darker ones, but unfortunately only one color in that palette fits me so these highlighters are super buttery it feels buttery but when you put it on it's definitely a powder it doesn't have a lot of thick chunky glitter you get several colors and this palette was 19 freaking dollars i mean come on you cannot pass up such a good deal these are huge pans like they are huge look how tall this is this is longer than my head Hello. So the first eyeshadow palette, I have gotten several this year, but honestly, this is absolutely my favorite. It is a little bit dirty, so please do not mind that. Like, look at her. She's gross on the back. But it is the Kylie Cosmetics Under the Sea palette. The reason that I absolutely love this palette the most is this green and this purple. They are stunning. I have created quite a few looks with the green and I really, really like it. The rest of them are a bit just your basic neutral colors, so they're really good to use. But I felt like this palette is small enough for me to travel. It has a mirror and also it's just so... It's like I can do pops of color, I can do glitter, I can do super shimmers, or I can do a matte look. It's easy to put toss in my purse and take to work if I have to do my makeup or whatever or I'm running late. And following that, the next item I have, I only have two of them with me on camera. However, I do own more than that. These are the Eye Glaze is what I believe they're called by Kylie. $20, I think they are though. <laughs> And this one is Ocean Child and Aqua Mama. I love these for the days that I do no makeup. So when I say no makeup, I mean no face makeup, no foundation and all of that. I like to absolutely dig into these and just put them on my eye after using just a nude sh matte shadow to just give my eye a little bit of a shimmer and look like I put in effort. <laughs> and going along with that, I also use the ColourPop and Halo collab. These have been amazing. Like, I only have two of them out, but I have several of them. And I even got a friend of mine to buy them because they're so good to use when you're not doing a full glam face. And they're easy just to add them on top of any shadow. Like, this one has been my favorite. And do not judge me because she is used like we're talking used used so I am a big fan of these I think Colourpop did an amazing job with these they're like toppers but if you use them with just your bare skin and just like a natural like no makeup look it looks stunning and I absolutely love them and they were like six bucks maybe eight bucks for two I don't quite remember <laughs> so the next item is going to be my setting spray. I have several different setting sprays from Urban Decay, Lancome, MAC, blah, 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 blah. This is absolutely my favorite right now. It's on sale for $12 at Ulta, I believe, so make sure you check it out because usually it's $16. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I absolutely love this. I use it to wet my brushes. I use it to set my face. Sometimes I use it underneath just to give me like a refreshing like, mm. So the next items are also for your eyes, but a different part of your eyes. So we're going to go with brows. So my current favorite brows, I use a lot of brow items, but my current favorite or this favorite this year, I literally use these brow products every time I do my brows, period. So the first one is the Dip Brow by ABH in the shade Dark Brown. And then we have the Chocolate Powder Duo, which is also by ABH. Um, I use this one first and then I go in to shade in with this one just to make it look a little more real and less matted down with the dip brow. Um, this one, however, this little guy is newer, but I actually did a review on uh, the Urban Decay brow products as a whole and I 
hated them. Um, but I kept some of them just to try, like, you know, like, you just want to give it a second chance, and I did, and I really, really love this. This is the brow finish. This is just the brow gel. I do hate the applicator, but I don't, I don't hate the product. Like, it's good. It's good, and I like it. It's kind of pricey, but I use this one more now than my ABH one, so I like this brush a little bit better than that one. Um, so this is why that's in my current favorites because I've actually switched over to this one. So the next two are mascaras from very different spectrums. So this one is Collab Mascara and I think this was like $14 from Sally's Beauty. Sally Beauty? Sally's Beauty? Sally Beauty. I don't know. Comment below and let me know if there's an S on the end of Sally. However, this one is such, I actually got this one because Tati Westbrook told me about it and I was like how good could this be it is actually phenomenal and it has this cool little like hump on it so I can get my bottom lashes without getting mascara all over the freaking place and then the next one is milk makeups kush mascara and I absolutely love this mascara if you want full beautiful lashes you're gonna want to pick this up I did get it from Sephora I don't know if I said that maybe I did but it's absolutely one of my favorite I just can't use it for my bottom lashes because it has such a fat brush on it that sometimes it gets on my eyeshadow. We're getting down to the nitty gritty of my favorites. There's a lot of favorites. I'm sorry if this video is long. I mean, it's a year worth of favorites, people. All right, so next is going to be lip items. The first I'm going to go into is going to be lip glosses. Two of my favorite lip glosses right now are Fenty Beauty's lip gloss and then Kylie's lip gloss. So these are just two examples. This one is the Fussy Gloss Bomb and this one is the Story of Us Kylie lip gloss. However, I have quite a few in each one. Um, I just grabbed one of each, so I absolutely love these because I feel like they're thick enough to be a pretty gloss on its own, but not too thick to where it's like sticky and gross. The shimmers are just right. It doesn't look like you have a lot of glitter on your lips. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful formula. Both of them truly are. If I had to pick my favorite, I would have to say Fenty is definitely hands down better than Kylie's, but I have used both of these all year long. They've been in my purse. I actually just got these two out of my purse because I've just been so, like I said, just had such issues with dry skin this year that I've tried to avoid like actual lipstick unless I am filming. So these are definitely good things to pick up. So last is lipstick and I got one of several shades. So I have a brown lipstick, pink, nude, red, and orange. Oh, and purple. The first one is going to be a Dose of Colors Bullet Lipstick, and this is actually in the shade Fig. And I think it's such a beautiful, beautiful, stunning color, and their formula on their tubes are so creamy and buttery and just so nice. And they're not very expensive either. So I'm going to go ahead with the next one. This is a pink one. This is Kissmas, and this is the Laura Lee Los Angeles collection. I got this not this year. I believe it was last year. But this is my pink that I go to this year um, all of the freaking time. It is such a stunning color and I really feel like it could be beautiful on every skin tone. It's just so pretty and I love the feel of her lipsticks like they're comfort matte. They do dry down but not enough to be like Nah. We're going to move on to the next one, which is going to be my favorite brown lipstick of this year, and it is True Brown K by Kylie Cosmetics. I actually wore this recently in a video and have a lot of people ask me what brown it was. This was the brown. I absolutely love that brown. And my absolutely favorite nude of the year is the Daydream by Lunar Beauty Cosmetics. I did a review on these, and I found out at that moment that this was my perfect nude and I carry it with me freaking everywhere. So thank you Lunar Beauty for the most beautiful nude I have ever owned and it is literally perfect for my skin tone. So there it is. Oh, so beautiful. So the next two are going to be my favorite red and orange lipstick. Um, the red one is also from Kylie and so is the orange. Don't judge me. Um, the red one is red velvet and this is actually her velvet formula. And then the orange one is from the Coco collection, and this is in the shade Baby Girl. So 
So I don't know if this one is still available or not, but it's just my one of my favorite summer colors. So this is the red because it is like red, red, super duper bright ass red. And then this is baby girl, which is just that peachy orange that I really enjoy wearing throughout the summer. And then I like to also take her lip gloss and go over it. So it looks nice. It's not super duper matte because it's summertime, but it's also like just such a beautiful peachy color that goes really nice with my skin, which is hard to find because of my skin tone. Just peaches don't really um, look very nice on me. But so those are my favorite lipsticks. We are done with the makeup. And the last things that I want to show to you guys are going to be my um, brushes, my current yearly favorite brushes. Here they are. Bye. Thanks for coming. No, I'm kidding. Um, so my favorite face brushes, this one is going to be the Morphe um, JS3. And this is what I use to first blend out my um, cream contour. And then I go in with my Morphe 530. And I also use this for bronzer as well. And then I have the JS4, which I use for highlighter, which is very similar to the Morphe 510, which I use for setting powder. All right, and then the last two face brushes, this is the Morphe Y6. I do have a lot of Morphe brushes in here, I'm sorry. They're not bad, they're actually amazing brushes and they're inexpensive. Um, some of them I could say that I don't like, but I've gotten rid of the ones that are not really nice. It was kind of like their original brushes. They had like a lot of issues with hairs falling out and whatnot, but I haven't had any issues with the ones that I personally use. Um, so I like them. This is actually the brush that I use for my foundation and I got this recommendation from Laura Lee because she absolutely loves this brush, but they discontinued this one and now it's in silver. I didn't trust that it was the same, so I went and got three of the gold ones. So that is the Y6. Um, and then this one, I actually got in a BoxyCharm. This is from Moda Brushes, and this isn't one of my current favorite blush brushes. It's just cute. It's inexpensive. It came in a set, um, but I did not like the highlighter blush that came with it, so I got rid of it. So that is it for my current 2019 favorites. So these are not new. These are not just things that came out in 2019. I know I might get a lot of comments saying, well, that didn't come out in 2019. It's not, not kind of what I'm doing. What I'm trying to say is like, these are the items that I used most of 2019. So if you used any of these items, which I know was a lot, go ahead and comment below and tell me which one you used and is it a favorite of yours or are you gonna try any of these that I mentioned because they're all top of the line products, in my opinion, of course. And as always, guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.